Hi, and what we're going to be doing today is taking a drawing that we've made on Inventor, converting it to a DXF file. So we've done that in a previous video. Um, now what we're doing is taking that DXF file and putting it onto some CAM software. What we're using is Design Edge, which is used for CNC plasma cutters. We're going to take that and we're going to show you how to put it on there and then cut it out. So opening up Design Edge, um, we then go to File, Import, now we're going to import import our screw points and there we go now because we imported that straight from inventor we're lucky enough that it is going to be the exact same size so now if i press m for move and i'm going to move it right up to the very top so this way i'm using as much I, i'm not wasting any material okay so once we're up there so pressing highlighting it and pressing M for move again. Move it into a position that I want. I don't want to be too close to the edge there because you need to leave a little bit of room for the nozzle width to be able to make it to your drawing. So what we're going to do now is turn it into some cut paths. So machine, convert to cut paths. We then select the center of the hole there because I'm going to cut that out first before we cut the outside. Now, if I automatically convert convert holes inside the path what it will do it will try to cut the outside first and then the inside twice because I've already selected it once so I'm gonna go no there so now I've got my order of cutting right it's gonna cut the hole in the middle first and then the outside so that is all complete that if I wanted to just cut one out that would be ready to cut now I want to cut more than one so I'm gonna right click so I'm not converting any more cut paths and then what I'm gonna do is highlight it I'm gonna go, I'm gonna press the C key and C for copy. So now I can click on it and copy across another one. Now I wanna keep them nice and close. I'm trying to line up their edges so I don't, I waste as little material as possible. While I still need to make sure, you can see that I've got a little offset coming off there. So I want these to be perfect, so that's why I'm having an offset. I don't want blow holes in, in them, so I'm leaving that there. But I also wanna make sure when I'm setting these up, that last one wasn't very good, so M for move, and I'm gonna move it up a bit. Um, I always also wanna make sure that, while well, I wanna be perfect, I wanna be wasting as little material as possible, so that's why we're trying to line them up nice and straight, so we can use it, the material afterwards as well. That'll do, as long as we, because we're not gonna be able to use that top edge, that's gonna be a very thin piece of metal that I'm probably gonna cut off with a pair of aviation shears afterwards. So now, with this, I'm going to have to, before I can start using the machine, I'm going to have to go to initialize. As you might have heard, the machine initialized, found zero, and that's why we have this yellow cross in the top left-hand side of the table that's shown there. So now, all I need to do is highlight these, and machine, and cut. So what I'm going to do now, because that's all I was hoping to show you, I'm going to position the steel and cut that out, and then I'll hopefully end with a picture of my finished product for you.